Welcome back my amazing team. I'm Julie Yit and thank you for joining me for my daily yoga practice today. So today I prepared for you 45 minutes all level yoga routine. It's going to be challenging. So let's practice with commitment, passion and dedication so we can get the best results. And as always, I'm going to challenge you and I'm going to guide you through and you guys do your best. So let's begin. All right, guys, so let's begin in our back today. So let's begin just taking our arms all the way behind and the legs all the way up front and giving this body a good quality, loving, nurturing stretch. Before we start, let's close our eyes and as always set a good loving intention for this practice to flow through this practice with no expectations, just doing our best, just enjoying the flow along with open mind, with open heart, what if we can learn something new, just exploring. So let's go ahead and open up our eyes and draw our both legs towards the chin, chest or belly. We're just going to start our warm up guys. And if you want to lift your shoulders off the ground and that's, and that's comfortable, then go ahead and do it with me. If not, just hold your shoulders grounded. So let's slowly extend the one leg and hold your right. You can place that leg on the floor, you can hold this above the ground and keep on breathing, just a few breaths. And then switch and do the same from the other side, lifting the heart, keep on breathing guys, just starting our warm up. And extend that left again and hold your right and this time bring the left on the floor and extend your right leg fully. You don't have to grab high, you can use the strap, you can use your calf, whichever you can reach. Make sure that your neck is free as always. Just a couple more breaths and go ahead and bring the other leg and do the same thing on the left. Lower back grounded guys as always in a gentle straight, waking up the hamstring, Achilles, all the way through. Mm -hmm. Shoulders back on the floor, both legs up and we're going to do guys a little scissor flow to wake up the energy at the base of our body. So keep on breathing and just slow, connected scissors. If your back is, doesn't feel good, don't bring those legs very low guys. So avoid the big gap in between your back and between the mat. And just a few more, a little bit lower and a little bit higher. We're going to repeat this flow in a few seconds. So let's just connect first. Again, draw the chin, chest or belly towards the knees. Take a good quality breath and we do it again. This time, if you're ready, try to bring the shoulders off the floor and take the hands behind. If not, just do the same one you already did at the first, when the shoulders are grounded, guys. Inhalation through the nose, exhalation through the nose, a little bit higher and a little bit wider and richer. Legs are strong and connected, guys. Body is using the center. Three and just two, just a couple more. Go ahead and draw the knees towards the chin, chest the belly again, good quality hug. Bring the feet up, spread the feet wide. Press right on top, draw the tailbone towards the floor. Keep on breathing, guys. Happy baby pose or Ananda Valasana. Let's go ahead and take the right leg on the floor. Open, keep on breathing and continue to press right on top of the left. If that feels pretty good, then roll on the right side and continue to bring your left foot towards the ground as well. Just again waking up this body. Mm -hmm. Let's do the same through the happy baby pose to the other side. So extend your left first, just like a sleeping straddle. Give it a few breaths. Let's everybody get ready and if that feels comfortable, roll a little bit deeper on your left and continue to press 
one toe on the right leg. Maybe if you have a good range of motion, go ahead and just connect with the elbow. Mm -hmm. Just up here. Just a few breaths through the nose in, through the nose out, guys. Let it go and bring the boys' legs back up. Bring the feet together. Take your knees together and make your transfer to the seated position. So from here, we will begin by taking our right foot on top on the left to the half lotus pose. If half lotus, guys, is not available, don't worry about it. Just put the right foot up front so we're all on the same page. If you're going for the half lotus with me, make sure that it doesn't hurt your ankle and doesn't hurt your knee. It comes from external hip rotation. So let's take the arms all the way up and take the right outside of the left. Give yourself a good quality stretch. Tiny little movements here and there. Breathe guys actively and return back to the center and fold forward on your forearms or fully grounded with the forehead if that is available. Do not hurry up. Give it a few breaths. Excellent. Come back and we're still holding the right and the half lotus. Take your right hand behind and open it up. Chest up and open, ribcage up and open. If that's feeling really good, then go ahead and bring the hips off the floor. Take your time. Inhalation through the nose, exhalation through the nose. Let's take the right foot, big toe, or use the strap, guys. And open up that right leg to the side. Try not to slouch the shoulders. Go ahead and reach nice and open. Big breath. And then draw this leg to the front. Mm -hmm. Half crisscross cross legs position and start to bring the leg up. Just what we did, laying down on the back with supine position, we're bringing the same here. Just make sure you don't fold forward with the forehead. You bring in the quadricep, the muscle runs from the knee to the hip flexor all the way you bring in the belly towards the quadricep couple more breaths guys excellent we're going to switch the legs so we're going to take the left on top on the right for the half lotus of course if it's there if it's not there just release it on the shukshasa the easy crisscross left let's reach all the way up and we're going to take the left outside of the right relax the neck tiny movements through the base of the spine just making sure it feels right and couple more press up here back to the center reach all the way up and release the arms towards the front don't worry if you can't reach the floor you can use the block underneath in between the floor and your forehead and try guys to remain the seat bones grounded mm -hmm. and let's return back together take your left over the left about 45 degrees and open up slightly deeper even bend and soften that left elbow team and just a couple more reach 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 take it all the way back and take the hands behind if it goes well with your back and hips lift the hips slightly off the ground keep on breathing mm -hmm. and let's gently take it back and pick up this leg and we're going to grab the toe or the foot and open it all the way to the side shoulders down heart up take your time to find the groundness keep on breathing through the nose in, through the nose out. Open, open, open it up and start to draw that leg forward just as we did on our right. So you don't have guys to connect with your foot if you can't reach. You can just hold it up here. Use the strap, use the towel, keep on breathing. It feels very, very good. Mm. Just guys, allow your body 
to be itself, just follow the sensations, try not to push so it doesn't go well, right? Just be inside within and then listen and just breath or two and slowly bring the foot back up front. So we're going to do a few lateral bends just to wake up the sides of the body is lateral and then we're going to go back to the other direction to the mat links and we do the active dynamic warm-up just a couple more and then reach all the way up big reach right goes behind left goes under just give it a good bind if you can't connect with the hands then just use your strap and just a tiny movement motions to open up the shoulders then simply switch the direction all right and left can feel very different so make sure that you again listen to your body and just a few breaths up here into the nose out through the nose and undo those hands let's make a transfer to our tabletop from our tabletop today guys we're gonna do cow and cat pose it's important that your knees underneath the hips very simple very easy flow very good for the warm-up relax the neck keep on breathing and then on the next movement we're going to add arm and leg so right arm left leg reach in on the cat pose connect through the center up and reach on the cat pose connect let's do just a couple more and one more guys all the way we're going to hold right here or bind if you do have a good quality bind if you can't reach again you can use the strap you can use your towel keep on breathing in through the nose out through the nose excellent job guys take it all the way back there push down hug the trip kit with your elbows we want to wake up mm -hmm. and a couple more times down and knit and twist our belly and down and lift guys here is that leg all the way on the side keep on breathing my friends through the nose in through the nose out slowly carry it up front to 45 degrees and see if you can take your shoulder underneath just opening the hips few breaths up here just calm down and just be there excellent we're going to repeat the same flow guys we will start in the tabletop cow and cat and then in a few more repetitions we will add arm and leg so we will add the left arm and the right leg opposite up to the cow pose extension cat pose draw the elbow and knee together cow pose extension cat pose knee draw it from the center guys from the manipura chakra from the center reach close up and open you can hold it guys up here or if you do have a bind go ahead and connect with your ankles it doesn't have to be perfect find the balance first and then stay with me inhalation through the nose exhalation through the nose don't give up body stable strong engaged but mind is settled and relaxed let's go ahead and push down with me guys reach knee and twist their belly we have a couple more it's important guys to draw the elbows in to support yourself for good mm -hmm. coming up and draw the leg all the way on the side great work keep it from the center guys great job slowly carry it about 45 degrees up front and sink down see if you can take the shoulder the left the, the left, right shoulder underneath and just connect with the ankle keep on breathing we're just gonna give it a few breaths i hope you're waking up guys mm -hmm. and slowly take it back to the center and reach up with your right arm take it back 
all the way behind, open up, take it back on the floor, take the left arm up, just ribcage, take it back behind the back or maybe even opposite the inner side. Back to the center, tuck your toes and let's together find ourselves in the first downward facing dog today. Little reminder, I know you know it, if you need to extend your back for good, lift your heels, bend your knees, especially if you were a beginner, you definitely want to bend your knees. Keep your back, guys, your priority all the time. Be patient. When your back is ready, it's going to be ready. Both pants are super flat. Relax your neck. Keep on breathing, guys. We will take the right leg up. Look underneath the right and draw that knee and chest or belly. Tiger curl. Take it back all the way. Tiger curl. One more time. Take it back. All the way, tiger curl, I know, take it back. All the way, step forward to your runner lunge. Then, if you can, the full Anjaniyasana lunge. Take it back on the floor. Step back to your full chaturanga or just a plank with the knees supported. Reach up. Exhalation, guys, rest. Rest with me. We're going to repeat this active quick flow from the other side. Take the left leg up, all the way, look underneath the left, and tiger curl. Shift the weight, the shoulders above the wrist. Take it back. Think about something you need to release if you've been a little bit frustrated or angry on someone or something today and you're still holding it. It's time, guys, to let it go. It doesn't serve us. Step forward with me to the runner lunge first, then Anjaniyasana. Full line, from your front foot, push down, exhalation. Use your breath as your powering force for this flow. Take it back, both hands flat, shoulder blades apart, long extended back, relax your neck, guys. Breathe actively. We're going to take the right leg up, hover if you can. If you can't hover, send your knee on the floor. Try to level your back ankle, extended leg, with your shoulder blades, you can do it. Keep on breathing. Now, your knee, extended leg towards the opposite elbow. And back to the hover. Opposite elbow. Back to the hover, guys. Opposite elbow. Back to the hover, back to the downward facing dog. You are my superstars. Take the foot back, relax, restore. Downward facing dog, guys. It's an asana for relaxation sometimes it doesn't feel like that then we simply go to the child pose very good keep on breathing guys couple more breaths just up here just couple more breaths relax your neck press your hands nicely into the floor guys keep on breathing slowly take your left leg up and hover guys left above the ground you can't hover that's totally normal you will build your strength soon simply send your knee on the floor once you rest it take it back to the hover opposite elbow one hover two guys hover three hover leg back all the way and take it back on the floor you are super strong both hands flat Let's look forward, guys, and move towards the plank. What we're going to do, we're going to shift the heels on one side. You will find yourself in a side plank. If side plank is too much, you put the bottom knee on the floor. Keep on breathing. We will take the leg wedges on top, up front. Just like almost you're ready to do the wild thing. Take the toes up. And hold it, keep on breathing. We're gonna do a little dynamic flow just for the few times. Touch and open. Guys, touch and open. Touch and open. Touch. Beautiful. You will find this one right leg all the way outside, guys. Plank on the three points. Keep on breathing. So with the nose in. There is no sound. You are super strong. 
take this guy's right hand and open it up towards left mm. that feels so good take it all the way back back to the plank if you need to rest knees on the floor if not heels on the right wrist elbow shoulder find yourself first in the side plank and then guys gently take the left foot outside if you need to put the knee on the floor on the bottom leg you can do it we're gonna do a little dynamic flow so touch toes lifted touch guys toes lifted touch again toes lifted and touch again toes lifted you will find that left leg all the way on the side side plank guys full plank three point now move your left to the center find the balance open it up i am so proud of you keep on breathing take it back you can choose to go with me full chaturanga full chaturanga up dog or no chaturanga do just the tabletop and go instead downward facing dog to the child pose relax your neck keep on breathing guys relax your neck excellent job look forward take your right leg up look underneath the right and step forward guys to your warrior one today both legs are active it has to be a good beautiful step guys front heel center about about in the middle of your back foot back foot is grounded my friends keep on reaching we're going to simply to take the arms on the side today and rotate the chest and upper body straight center and forward level the hips tiny little back bend or no back bend at all take a good care of your body hmm. and just find yourself right there very nice great job come from all the way back reach all the way up remember we did warm up our arms in the seated flow so now take your left behind right underneath both hands bounded and together keep on breathing in through the nose out through the nose make sure that it's not only the front leg which is loaded guys slowly fold forward towards the front foot of course if you can i mean front leg breathe actively very nice mm. undo those hands and take your left hand on the floor or you can also guys use the block it's pretty challenging it's a revolved angle so many times you would want to pivot the foot back but i want you to keep your feet just as you started and pivot and rotate through the hips first and then through the chest and heart keep on breathing back to the center guys take the step back do the full chaturanga or no chaturanga at all we're going to repeat this flow on the other side just in a few breaths for now recover restore take your time sink the chest down look right in between the ankles expanding from from the horizontal line extending vertically take the left leg up look underneath left create the good straight and with awareness draw that front foot guys up front it has to be a big wide step team so level it doesn't have to be low though to rotate the heart over the front reach all the way up warrior one nice beautiful wide step hips are square chest up team and arms extended and strong don't hold those arms weak excellent commitment remember excellent results like everything in this life poor commitment poor results you can do the best all right we're going to take our we're going to take both hands first behind actually and again focus on taking the heart up and forward little back bend or no back bend breathe and then slowly take it back guys stay in your warrior one now take your right behind left underneath the opposite direction 
heart up and forward. Mm. And of course, if it's there, we're going to place our heart, our belly on top of the front leg. Try not to slouch the shoulders, lift the elbows. You can also, guys, use the strap for the bind or the towel. Mm -hmm. Let's release the hand, the right, right hand on the floor, or again on the block, and you can use it as high as you need. And we're going to open up towards the ceiling, opposite direction. Revolve the angle. Both feet grounded, guys. Both feet grounded. Right and left. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Slowly take it back all the way and step back to your chaturanga. Push down and downward facing dog. I am very proud of you. Keep on breathing. Today we're going to do the simple variation of the Anahatasana or extended puppy pose again. So, but we're going to do it slightly different. We will take, however, if that's not going to go good, just extend your arms up front. Otherwise, we're going to take one arm up front, remain your tailbone still in between the knees, and another arm all the way under. Mm -hmm. Keep on breathing. Just a few nurturing baths. Good job, guys. Mm -hmm. Let's slowly switch the direction. So we're just simply going to take other arm in the center. Try to remain tailbones. Uh, tailbone in between the knees. It's not a child pose. You can also use the block underneath. If that neck doesn't feel good here, then send your face on the side, just like I'm doing right now. Both hands flat if possible. Mm -hmm. Navel in and slowly come on back, my friends. Both fingertips inside. We're going to do just one more hour just to ensure that we're staying super strong today. If that doesn't go well, then the fingertips to other direction. Keep on breathing. In through the nose, out through the nose. Stay with me, stay with me. Do not give up. Keep on breathing, guys. If it's available, if not, you will know it right away. Then switch your hands to the normal position, guys. Downward facing dog. Both feet parallel to each other. Elbows outside, fingertips looking towards each other as well. It's pretty advanced variation of the downward facing dogs. Dog arms, so please make sure doesn't hurt your wrist. And slowly walk with me towards the plank. We are now going back to the side plank, guys. But this time, we're going to take the bottom leg on the knee if you have to, or you're going to take it up front. So now not the top leg, but the bottom leg. Set the good alignment. Wrist elbow, shoulder. Very nice. Good job. Keep on breathing. If you're ready, if you're not ready, just be where you are. Go ahead and just pick up that foot, just pick it up. We're just holding it. There is a multiple progressions we're not gonna do today, but I want you just to hold it and take it back. Proud of you guys, heels on the other side and the bottom leg is gonna go outside. And you can just decide to stay up there, nothing is wrong with that. Stay just up there or if you're ready, pick up that bottom foot. Keep on breathing. Alignment in the wrist, elbow, shoulder is really important. Slowly take it back. Chaturanga or not, you can also do your chaturanga with your knees on the floor. Transition back to the downward facing dog. All right, my friends. Keep on breathing. Look forward. Step walk or hop to the front or to the, to the front long mat or to the front mat here. I'm going to be doing the balance up here so you can see it clearly, but you can be turning any direction. So we're going to take both feet together and we will begin just with a simple knee hold. So let's go ahead and grab that knee to your stop, shoulders down. You don't have to worry about anything. We don't even do in the tree pose right now. We're just looking for the groundness on that other leg. Connection with your mat, 
with the earth, strong foundation, strong building, like everything else. Now, try to open it up to the side. If you can grab your foot, it's great. If not, you can use the knee. You can also use towel or strap. Mm -hmm. Also, if your mat is very soft today, you might want to step on the floor. It's going to be very helpful. Keep on breathing. Don't hold the breath. Balance directly connected with your breath. Now we're going to move the ankle back. Mm -hmm. Just like we're getting ready for a dancer or something. We're going to start to move to tilt the body forward and backwards. Just practicing. Just practicing, guys. Just practicing. Do it a few times. You said this time for the practice. Continuously repetitions and consistency will make a good breakthrough, no matter what we do. All right, so let's go ahead and return it back. You are doing great, good bounce. So switch the hands, hold your right foot with your left hand, just like this. It's already a lot, I know. You can remain up here, if it's there, go ahead and place that ankle above the knee. Simple chair pose with the one leg. Mm -hmm. Keep on breathing. Now, if you feel really comfortable, we're going to rotate our right elbow towards the right foot. You don't have to do it. And if you're doing that, please make sure you are not loading that one knee with that one leg, which I mean knee on that one leg, which is Support on the left, shift the weight slightly back so your knee on the left feels good. Grab the big toe. If you need to step down first to acquire the balance, step down first and then join me. Open up the heart, don't worry about anything. Keep on breathing, my friends. Very good balance, everyone. If you need to start over again, start over again as many times as you want. Slowly. Press cross your feet. Now, if your feet cannot step as wide and be flat, simply bring them closer. Don't hold it on the outer edge or inner edge, right? So step them the way you can keep them. You can keep them flat. Reach up. We will do the forward fold here. It's gonna help us to open the knees, the hips even more. Guys, press your both hand, both feet very firm again into the floor equally we're looking for evenness and harmony if you have a good balance here go ahead and hug your ankles if not again don't worry about it keep on breathing we're going to take our right hand so your right leg across the left we're going to take the right hand and open up towards the left mm -hmm. Keep on breathing, guys. Just a few more breaths. Few more breaths. Take it back behind the back if you can. And take it all the way back down. Find the ground this with both hands. Bend your knees and do a little squat. If that squat is very comfortable, then you're going to take the right and left across on the places basically on the line with your feet keep on breathing i know keep on breathing guys couple more breaths take it back great commitment reach all the way up lift 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 hips forward hard up excellent job we're going to bring our feet back and we will take our left leg over the ground we're not doing anything much right now just looking for the good standing balance. So when you can actually stand on this leg, keep on breathing. Mm -hmm. Give it a few breaths. Unwind the upper body. Relax the jaw. No eyes. Eyelids are soft. Eyeballs are soft. Moisture your mouth. Swallow a couple times. Tension in the eyes will cause tension in the brain. And it's going to give you a very, very, very unstable body. Mm -hmm. Let's slowly. Gently, take it back and bring your both knees together. All right, just a little tilting movement. All right, 
foot up and forward. That's it. And one more, guys. Excellent. Good balance. So let's go ahead and bring this knee back and now switch the hands. So just like you take the, it's a left leg, so it's a right hand. That's what I was trying to say. Keep on breathing. Mm -hmm. Very good. Now, you can remain up here or see if you can place that ankle on top, in, on top on the knee, not on the knee itself, but on the soft part. Squat gently. That squat doesn't have to be low, but try to lift, just a perception of lift, your right toe slightly off the floor. And then rotate. Ooh, ooh, ooh. My balance is going out, I got it. Back, and we're going to drive, calm down first. We're gonna drive the left elbow towards the left. Ooh, that's very challenging. That's very challenging. And then gently return it back and grab the big toe. If you have to, tap the ground first. Do that. Hmm. Big breath. Good job, guys. Hold it for the few breaths. Don't hurry up. You can also bend the knee and hold that leg with the knee bent. And let's gently release it. And we're going to crest cross. The feet. Remember, you can take them closer or farther. Just make sure it doesn't hurt your knees and your feet are flat. Reach up. And we're gonna go first for the forward fold. Press your both feet equally into the floor, guys. Both hands flat, relax your neck. Just a few breaths up there. In and out through that nose. And then take your left hand, your left leg across the right up front right and then you take in your left hand on the floor and opening towards the right wall mm -hmm. very good shoulders level if possible one more breath take the hand behind the back towards the inner side if that's there if not then don't worry about it take it all the way back slowly Take your hands a little bit wider and see if you can go for the little squat on the toes here. If that goes pretty well, then you're going to take your left and crest cross on top with the right, just opposite to your legs, simply opposite to your legs and continue to hold it. I know. Few breaths, guys, up here. Keep on breathing. Into the nose. Out through the nose and slowly undo this. Bring the feet back on the floor. And we're gonna do a little back bend to finish this flow. Reach up and just open up. Push the hips a little bit forward, hard a little bit up. Slowly bring it back. Beautiful, guys. So let's step wider, slightly wider than the, than the hips. We're gonna go gently Lent to Malasana or Garden Pose. There is a few variations, guys, you can use. You can sit on the block. You can sit on two blocks. Put the second block up here if your feet are not grounded, right? I'm not gonna be using the blocks because my feet are on the floor, not even on the tippy toes. You can also put some extra pads or extra yoga mat underneath the heels. So let's open up and take the hands up front of the heart. Close your eyes and just be there for the few breaths. Inhalation through the nose, exhalation through the nose. Gently lean all the way down. Grab your big toes, take your both feet first together and bend your knees. And then you can stop up here or you can bow, go all the way to the seated upright angle pose. Shoulders down, heart up. Keep on breathing. Navel in, a lot of breath from the crown to the tailbone, all the chakras working together. In order to hold all of those balances, guys, we have to breathe and trust the body. Let's try to get back to Malasana 
or garland pose. Take your time. Inhalation through the nose. Exhalation. Malasana pose. Good job. Let's give it one more try. Grab the big toes. This time we're going to hold the big toes and try to return back to the garland pose. All the way. Oops. Malasana pose. Last one, guys. Last one. Building the strong core. Strong, healthy body. I am so proud of you, team. Let's take both feet together to the diamond pose. Just not very close, not the Baddha Kanasana, but a little bit farther away. And simply see if you can place your forehead towards the feet. You don't have to do it. You can also here actually use your blocks and put your elbows, put your arms on the blocks. Set a good help. Use your blocks, guys. Blocks will elevate your practice a lot. And just being here in a star pose with Tarasana. Very good. Come on back up with me. And let's gently make our way on the floor. We will finalize our practice today with Matiandrasana or fish pose. Mm -hmm. Let me take the blocks away. And there is a few variations. If you're very beginner, you can hold your knees bent, take your both hands underneath and bring your elbows and shoulder blades, guys, a little bit closer to each other. Lift the heart, if you can, farther and forward, and then take your crown on the floor. Make sure that there is no ponytails and braids on the way. And if you want to extend your legs, you will extend your legs and continue to open through your heart. If you wish a little bit, guys, more fire. Make sure that you're stable, your deck is not hurting, take the feet off the ground. In and out. No. Feels so good, a lot of energy flows through that body. Slowly lower those legs. Put your both feet together, remain in your Matsindrasana or fish pose for the breath or two and then slowly release. Take your hands all the way inside the groin area, relax, close your eyes. Take a good quality breath, inhalation through the nose and extend that exhalation as long as you can. See what it does to your body, do not hurry up. Good quality inhalation and a soft exhalation. Try to extend that exhalation again. See what it does to your body. It instantly calms and relaxes the physical body. Let's place our both hands on top of our belly, guys, and keep your eyes closed. Feel the belly rising and contracting. On. Uprising and exhalation, contracting. Look inside and find that heart, the joyful heart of yours, which belongs to this unique body. No one in this universe can walk in your shoes ever. So we have to take a good care of this precious vehicle for the soul, of our physical body. Nurture it well with the good foods, good quality exercises, good rest and recovery, and the most importantly, with the good loving thoughts. So slowly, keep your eyes closed and come back, start to come back with me. Take your time to the seated position with the both legs up front of the body and hands up front of the heart. Keep your eyes closed, guys, and continue to look inside to experience the true inner connection, looking for that one who is truly listening right now. Open that heart for more love, more contribution, more passion, more connection. Smile with your heart, guys, and flow through the rest of this day with a true, unshakable peace and love inside. Namaste. I will see you soon.